Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. It's Tuesday. We like to talk about energy on this program called Energy Corridor, co-hosted with my uh, friend, Ken Batman. And uh, today we've got an interesting guest. Before you introduce him, though, tell, him, tell us a little bit about the things you're involved in, uh, Kent, uh, before you introduce your guest. Okay, well, uh, Bicam Ecofluids makes biodegradable drilling fluids. And uh, we've had a lot of fun and success in making drilling fluids that, that perform as well as oil-based mud, but yet they are environmentally friendly and less expensive. So uh, that's a good deal. Yeah, absolutely. And your guest today? Yes, is Larry and uh, Larry Goldenhurst, and uh, Larry's going to tell us what's new. Uh, I think out in California. Is that right, Larry? Well, I'd love to share with what's new out in California. Um, I've got, uh, Inviance is, uh, my company is a company that provides software over the internet. It cuts the cost of environmental compliance by automating emissions tracking, management, and reporting. Uh, we're used by many of the large oil and gas companies like Hess, Chevron, Hunt, Continental, 35% of the utility sector, including Luminant in Texas, 35% of the coal sector, including Arch and Patriot and Alliance, and large chemical companies like DuPont and DSM. And how long have you been doing what you're doing, Larry? Uh, we've been in business for 13 years. Very good. Kent? Well, question, how does a, comp- a company outside of Texas, because you're, bas- you're, you're trading carbon credits, basically, how does, it, how does a company outside of California use your service? Well, uh, actually, you know, Kent, we're, de- we're deployed in 49 countries uh, around the world. Uh, and so apart from trading carbon credits or counting uh, greenhouse gas emissions, Inviance actually automates uh, compliance with air permits like the ones that are issued in Texas and California and around the country, water permits, waste permits. What we really do in the main is compliance management that allows okay. companies to collect all the data that's required by the regulators analyze it against allowable ranges, and do the reporting, and keep the companies in compliance at the lowest possible cost. Okay. All right. Very, very well. Is, is there uh, another financial mechanism for some of these companies to, to capture with some of your other clients? Transferring, the, uh, uh, you know, right. in terms of cap and trade here in California, as you, as you all probably know, uh, there have been two auctions in California. Uh, one in in November of 2012 that yeah. generated about $290 million of revenue uh, and set wow. a carbon price of $10.09. The second was in February of this year, netted about $220 million of revenue and set a carbon price of $13.62 a ton. Mm-hmm. Outside what, what, of California. Yeah, let me ask you, Larry, what percentage of your business is outside of California? I'm sorry? What percentage of your business is actually outside of California? Probably about 90%. Oh, okay. Kent? <laughs> yeah. So we have so the, the, the main companies we have operating in California using our system would include Chevron, uh, Pacific Gas and Electric, Sempra, Southern California Edison. But uh, we have companies that operate really across the country, American Electric Power, Southern Company, Luminant. So a lot of our uh, customers uh, operate in most states outside of California and do things other than greenhouse gas tracking and reporting. They do compliance management, basically. So around the country, you have companies that say in the oil and gas sector, tents involved, uh, utilities, energy, chemical. These sectors all face an immense amount of regulation. And the regulation imposes requirements on them to collect data, compare it against permit limits, report to regulators, and do things in the event that uh, emissions exceed limits. Our system automates all of that process for these companies across the 50 states. Interesting. Interesting. Kent? Very good, yeah. Okay, so if a company was burning coal, you mentioned Southern Company or a utility company, burning coal and they move to natural gas, they're naturally going to see a decrease in greenhouse gas. They can track that. They can use your service, but they can't trade because they're not in a carbon trading state or country. Well, they actually, um, there is a provision in California for the trading of offsets. And offsets are defined under the California cap and trade law as a carbon credit that's generated outside of California. And so they have under the statute some very specific offset 
uh, credits that have been defined today, forestry offsets, coal, bain, coal bed methane is one that's coming online. But if a company outside of California fits inside the definition of an offset for California trading, the carbon credits they generate outside the state could most definitely be traded inside of California. And companies outside of California could avail themselves of the possible benefits of selling their credits for $13.62 a ton. <laughs> that's wow, awesome. that's crazy, huh? <laughs> so let me ask well, you... It's interesting. It's, it's very interesting. interesting. because If you really have a market out there, uh, yeah. that could incentivize companies outside of California to implement some sort of carbon reduction that they might not otherwise do, because in so doing, they could generate more money at 13.62 a ton than they spent in putting in the equipment. That's really the way the market-driven process is supposed to work. That's right. That's interesting. That's interesting. And uh, let me ask you, are there p particular industries that are a sweet spot for your company, or is it anyone in the energy field? Uh, well, we have uh, a very, very strong presence in oil and gas, chemical, utility, uh, pharma, uh, and, and those those industries are very regulatorily intensive, meaning they have a lot of permits and a lot of requirements. Obviously, the explosion in fracking and the gas business uh, has been uh, very good for Enviance because it, along with all the exploration and production uh, and economic opportunity comes the need for compliance with regulations, and we do a lot of compliance management for a lot of gas, oil and gas companies. And I would say in the last couple of years, that has been one of the primary drivers for our business. Very good. Kent? Well, you know, in our area, there's a lot of uh, paper companies. Are you doing business in that, in that field? They're generally burning. We, ha we, have, a, we, have, a couple of, we have a couple of paper companies, uh, and um, we've done that work in the past. Okay. So it really is the same kind of compliance work that faces oil and gas and chemical roads. They have very restrictive water permits that regulate the type of outfalls they can uh, they can have, meaning effluent coming out of pipes and things like that. They have air permits, just like uh, refineries and oil and gas companies. Um, so while we don't have a lot of paper right now, we certainly have done it in the past, and uh, we're capable of doing it. Okay, we're near the end. Larry Goldenhurst, he's with a company called Enviance. Is that pretty close, Enviance? Oh, that was good, Enviance. Yeah, yeah Enviance. All right, there we go. And uh, I, I, I knew that Hooked on Phonics would help me at some point. And then uh, his company, you can learn more about them over at uh, the website, which is enviance.com, enviance.com. Kent Batman, he is with Vicam Eco Fluids. You can learn more about him at Vicam, V I C H E M, Eco, E C O, Fluids.com. And of course, you can learn more about Kent at PriceOfBusiness.com. Gentlemen, thanks to both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very interesting conversation. Interesting to see uh, how this uh, interesting market uh, apparatus has been developed. Uh, we've had several stories on this, Kent. It'll be interesting to get more on it, get into some depth on how it actually uh, practicably works. But very cool. I thought it was interesting. I'm Kevin yeah. Price. When we come back, we'll have more for you. If you want to remind you, the best content here often shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. You're listening to The Price of Business.